guys, Devil Hunter XYZ, and we're back with more Marvel Spider-Man. And at this point, just finished up the last of the bases, did off my own time here. And actually I'm going to do a quick save, just to be on the safe side. Because <laughs> it's been a while. So we got, did all the bases, got all the equipment back for David. I guess really this point is just going to the main mission, yes. Hey David, what's up? Spider-Man, I have the supply caches and I'm on my way to the embassy, but I think I am being followed. Where are you? I am not sure. I am... David? Oh. David! Hold on, I'm on my way. Hammerhead's men knew David would be alone and vulnerable. I should have seen this coming. Hang in there, David. So, is there a side mission or? Okay, well. Awesome. What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay. Not exactly how I was planning to do that. Pretty sure maybe a side mission is gonna open up later, but for right now, I guess I'll just do the um, the main mission. I mean, all I remember is just David was gonna take this stuff to the embassy. The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Somewhere around here. Huh, must be underground. Guess it's time for some urban spelunking. We're going back to the underground subways or sewers, whichever you pick. Actually, weirdly, there hasn't been any sewer related missions at all in this game. That's a new smell. Uh, until now. <laughs> Hope I find Sable before the fumes overwhelm her. If I can get through this without getting wet, that'd be a win. <laughs> I was gonna say, it'd be kind of odd having a Spider-Man game with no sewers. Oh! Okay, remember Pete. Some bacteria are good bacteria. <laughs> To make this city run is just crazy. I'll never take fresh water for granted again. <laughs> well, let's just hope I don't encounter the lizard around here. Well, guess I'll just go with the flow. Okay, let's see where this leads. Looks like some loose bricks up ahead. Nice. Okay, onward. Hammerheads, guys. They've taken over an abandoned subway platform. Gotta take these guys out, then look around for Sable. Hmm. Hey. All right. Actually, I need to change back. I'm gonna go with battle focus once more. I've been using electric punch to clear out the rest of the bases, but. Let's put 
play the quiet game. I'm trying to be as stealthy as possible. Well, the jig is up. Better make this quick. Well, I was trying to be as stealthy as possible. all of them. Now, I bet if I follow the power cables, I'll find where they're holding Sable. Hope that's not a load-bearing subway car. Nice. Okay, follow the yellow wire. Better not find any lions, tigers, or bears. Oh, my. Uh. Ah, tunnel's blocked. But I think I can still squeeze through. So many body bags for some reason. What do you mean what happened? He died inside the thing like the other guys. Who was it? Don't remember his name. Sal's cousin, I think. Was it messy? Nah, he just came out all blue. I think he stopped breathing in there or something. Did you hook up the oxygen line like I said? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think so. Boss ain't gonna like hearing, I think so. Then forget I said it. And I'll forget you were drinking on the job yesterday. What do you mean? That, that, that was coffee. Sure didn't smell like coffee. Gotta do this quick, and then find Sable. Should have called first. This place looks like their main base of operations. Interesting. Project Olympus. These pods require a lot of electricity. Must be why they're leeching off the subway. I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side. Now we got our first test subject. No! No! Don't! Don't turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I can figure it out. Now that's what I like to hear. So, what kind of project is this? <laughs> Make him less human. Wow. If Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. Sable jetpacks. I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. Oh, 
All this stuff belongs to Sable? Yeah, most of it's overseas, though. What are you thinking, boss? I'm thinking about how she took over the whole city in a matter of days. You mean back during that Devil's Breath thing? Yeah, that was crazy. Not so crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. So they need Sable for something, I guess, to take over the city. No doubt. <laughs> XRT-89. Subterranean Troop Deployment Vehicle. That's the real name? I'm sticking with Dig Boy. Sable. Sounds like she's close. There. Ah. High voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? If there's one takeaway from this underground lair thing, it's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. I just avoid electrical currents. Every minute I am here is another nail in your coffin. <laughs> you got spirit. I like it. I will never give you what you want. Yes, you will. It'll just take time. We got all the time in the world. back for me why because I need you I work alone I used to say the same thing I know what's happening in Simkaria I know why this means so much to you you think you know but you do not know but what can I do to make you trust me look I think I know how we can take down that monster but I can't do it alone Damn it! He let her loose! Okay, here's the plan. Oh. Here's the plan. There is no plan. <laughs> Good plan. I don't think there's a guarantee on that. Awesome! High five! 
<laughs> she doesn't do high fives. You said you could defeat Hammerhead. You uh, know you left me hanging, right? There are medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. Carbon steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to heat. Still with the high five. <laughs> I have an idea. I uh, solemnly swear to uh, do whatever you tell me to. Right. I'll call soon. Okay. What? Yeah. Well, she's starting to warm up to me, I think. <laughs> Guess I'll do some spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? Okay, what is what is that? <laughs> what's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? What is this? A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. Sorry, tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Then what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. Oh no. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts, but something tells me I'm not gonna find a chest full of gold at any of these places. Oh no, treasure hunts. <laughs> okay. Oh god, I got all these. All right, might as well, might as well. Where's it at? Close to another crime scene. Hey, Peter. Just letting you know I haven't left the house. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city, like constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. That's true. <laughs> Remember what May used to say you help someone, you help everyone. I never really understood what she meant. Okay. You know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? Spider-Man, over here! The one who just got evicted? Yeah. After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. 
I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! <laughs> Alright. Uh... Okay. This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean to scare you. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Mm, typical day? I guess it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see what the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon, and dinner, and I... Sorry, um, can you go back for a moment? What does do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss tells me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Got quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. Ah, interesting. Got two out of nine. All right. Uh, of course, there's actually a side mission too. Well, I'm gonna try to see if I can finish everything in this session. I'm gonna try. If I go a little bit over the time limit, that's fine. Because I don't think I'm really too far off. I think I'm pretty close to finishing it. base in the city that I don't know about. Right. Good talk. <laughs> Is she always hanging up on me. Well, I Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. We probably just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Ugh. Okay. Magic takes the fun out of everything. I'm trying to find this recording. Oh, it's over there. They're pretty well hidden, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's hear what the recorder has to say. So what do you think, Doc? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> You're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You do what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're gonna do something for me. Well, that took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, maybe he's the one who killed all these people. Ha. Huh. Okay. Go for number four. Look. Lots of police tape and equipment at these scenes. Whoever's doing this must have access to this stuff. Someone fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident. Huh. But was it? Who knows? The recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring the um, 
Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. My boss and I are only interested in one of them. And who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Okay. Um... Four to nine. I guess... Go up here to this one. This is suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. In the last recording, they talked about getting Yuri's mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Well, we'd like you to record her next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. That gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these, and yet I can't stop. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. Huh. Like a nice mystery that's going on. Alright, so I'm gonna just fast travel to this one. It's quite far. Whoever's leaving these has a good reason. Show us. Huh? I remember Yuri telling me about a drowning here. She was suspicious because the victim was a competitive swimmer. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay, Yuri, let's move on. Have your obsessive thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got him. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get him. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But? I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. Yeah, it seemed like Yuri was kind of on the case and can't do and couldn't do anything about it because of, I guess, at the time try, having to follow police protocol. <laughs> here recently the victim was set to testify against one of hammerhead's men but of course police never found a suspect on the last one yuri sounded frustrated check it out you have no idea that's it yes i mean we talked a little bit about her medication but when is the next session why what are you going to do i'm gonna do whatever my boss does maybe though Oh no, are they setting up a hit on Yuri? I gotta get to those other locations. Alright, seven out of nine. I think I'm getting close. It has to be Yuri who's leaving all this stuff. Another report and recorder. I almost don't want to listen. I remember this. A person got electrocuted accidentally, but the victim had ties to Hammerhead. Yuri tried, but couldn't find evidence of foul play. These case files are getting more and more recent. 
This one happened just a few weeks ago. You seem nervous. Yeah, well, the chief knew I was working undercover with you. I can't afford to lose my job. Maybe I should be the one doing breathing exercises. Well, isn't that interesting? Don't worry. I won't tell if you don't. Also, you're doing great. You're a very authentic looking doctor. Thanks. I think. You think he knows you were wearing a wire? If he does, he's a hell of a good liar. He's a Magia enforcer. We know he's a good liar. Question is, does he know he's being lied to? We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. You sure about all this? We catch him in the act of trying to murder a police officer. He gets put away for life. Yuri, what are you doing? I have to find her. So the therapist was working undercover with Yuri. I tried to get some evidence. I think I'm close to the last crime scene location. Yuri's been here. Now where's the file? Attention unit. Magia are raiding a stable supply convoy. Proceed to Sutton Place. Over. I remember Yuri saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. Hey, Captain. You ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm all wired up on my way to the office. Just picking up a coffee first. Okay. Drinks are on me when this is done. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Captain. Yuri's suspended, but she still won't give up. Hard not to respect that. Can I just get a large coffee? Hey there, Dad. Who's that you were just talking to? Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> no. Oh, why did I listen to that? Another new side mission. <laughs> Okay, well, I got two side missions now I gotta take care of. Call from an unknown number. Hello? Hello, old friend. Yuri? Meet me at the corner of Madison and 23rd. We need to talk. Wait, wait, Yuri! Ah, she's gone. With all that's happened to Yuri, she must be beyond hurting. She doesn't do anything without a reason. So why did she lead me on a grisly crime scene tour? She must have a lead on this Enforcer guy. It'll be nice to see her. Maybe help her deal with whatever she's dealing with. Okay, well since I'm right here, I might as well do this one. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because I got one there and I got another one somewhere down there. I guess. <laughs> So let's see how Yuri's been doing. <laughs> I haven't seen her since the end of the second episode. Can't we talk without rockets? Wait, what? Yuri, what did you do? That's a good question. What did she do? <laughs> That's the Magia Enforcer. Dead. And the case files from all his victims. This guy killed all these people. But does that mean he deserved to die? Yuri! I know what you're gonna say, but just hear me out. The system works most of the time. But there are times when it doesn't. And to me, that's unacceptable. Some people put their trust in fate, or karma, or whatever. But I can only trust me. You can't kill people, Yuri. Apparently I can. And you know what? It felt good. 
You need to turn yourself in. For what? I just dispensed justice. True justice. And I restored a little bit of balance to the world. You're my friend, Yuri. I don't want to come after you. You do what you have to do, and I'll do what I have to do. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Yuri! Tom, what am I gonna do? This all makes sense now. What Yuri did to Hammerhead... She's been struggling with this for a while. She's always held in her emotions. That must take a toll on her. But she's also the most tenacious and stubborn person I know. This was a bad guy for sure, but killing him? That's too much. Oh, I gotta say. I never thought Yuri would be going so rogue as to actually kill these people, but... I don't know. I, I doubt we're gonna see her again in this game, but... Who knows, she might make an, an appearance again in the next one. Or fast travel nearby. Gotta move. Hi, David. Looks like you could use a little help. Oh, God. Doing good so far, man. <laughs> I was doing good so far. <laughs> Alright. You okay? I think so. Thank God for this sable armor. So, what's next? Deliver the caches to the Simkarian embassy. Thanks to you, the Simkarians will finally get the aid they need. Just happy I could help. <laughs> but I meant what's next for you? Well, a few minutes ago I received a call from a school in Midtown. They offered me a visa if I accepted a teaching position. I don't suppose you had something to do with that. Good things happen to good people. I can't thank you enough. 
I will try every day to help my students achieve their dreams as you have helped me achieve mine. Actually, I should be the one thanking you. For what? For reminding me why I'll always love this city. That's touching. Ah, is it me? Or is the world a little brighter right now? I'm just gonna bask in this good feeling for at least the next few seconds. Or until something else bad happens. I bet David's gonna be one of those cool teachers whose classes are packed. <laughs> yeah, probably. <sighs> Alright. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks like I did pretty much everything. I mean, with the exception to the hammerhead crimes, but everything else is completed, so... I guess time for the final mission. Maybe I can actually stop Hammerhead once and for all. Who knows? <laughs> Unless this game is going to turn into another to be continued thing. <laughs> this is it, folks. This is the big one. <laughs> I finally have proof. For years, I have asked my dear listeners to send in photographic evidence to prove once and for all that Spider Man is directly linked to the very criminals who plague our city. And finally, finally. One brave anonymous caller has delivered the goods. We have clear photos of Spider-Man standing in the immediate vicinity of caches of humanitarian aid. Aid that was intended for Centaria. And our heroic caller assures me that these very humanitarian caches are being sold on the black market. If I've learned one thing in my years as a world-renowned reporter, it's this. Photos don't lie. Spider-Man has been caught red-handed. No pun intended, puns are for whips. So what do we do about it, you ask? We wait. We wait for the police to finally wake up and arrest this map lunatic. At long last, this city is going to finally see that Jameson has been right about Spider-Man this entire time. Not only is he a thief, he's actually stealing vital food and medicine from innocent civilians who are trapped in a war zone! Women and children struggling to survive, hiding each day from a hail of mortars and bullets. Meanwhile, Spider-Man is stealing the very aid that might keep them alive. This is a new low, people. Even I could never have suspected Spider-Man of something this despicable. All we can do now as a city is to sit back and quietly reflect on just how right J. Jonah Jameson really was. Yet again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jameson was gonna suspect anything I do. All units, armed suspects are disrupting a stable equipment transport. Location is Hudson Town. Alright, time to finish this up, man. you talked about Whoa. your toys are so much cooler than mine I love this invisible floating fortress thing but now that all of New York City has seen it Hammerhead will probably be here soon I am counting on it so let us work quickly. I have acquired the Class 5 laser array. We need to calibrate it to prevent it from overheating. Lucky for us, I'm working on my masters in calibration. Let's do this. 
Okay, what's first? Pull the housing array into place. On it. Okay. <laughs> Check. Whoa. Nice laser. Housing locked. Done and done. We are not done. Oh. We must reset the targeting field, Ariel. Sure thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Exit the hangar and navigate to the top of the nearby transmitter. Alrighty. So we should talk about the strategy with Hammerhead, don't you think? What is there to talk about? We find him. Then focus the laser on the plates in his head. The laser will heat the carbon steel to critical temperature, which will rearrange its molecular structure. And soften it so I can knock him unconscious. I get that part, but how do you know it won't, uh, melt his brain? When the wolf attacks the sheep, he risks getting shot by the shepherd. Okay, well, Shepard, just remember my no killing rule, okay? <laughs> we'll see where she follows that rule. Heck, I already had Yuri kill someone. Done. How's it look? Systems appear functional. Now we must test the targeting and power levels. Cool. Wait, this doesn't involve shooting me, does it? Not yet. But I do need you to launch those targets. Right. What do you mean, not yet? <laughs> okay, ready? Ready. Bombs away! Get it! Pull! Just a few more. Cool with me, this is fun! Here comes another one! Nice shot! Is this how modern militaries do speed shooting? Oh, oh, can we do one more? Please? You are a child. Yeah, well, we're all children on the inside. Whoa! Come back. We have one more thing to do. On my way. We must adjust the gyroscopic navigation stabilizer in order to compensate for the weight of the laser. Go to that terminal and wait for me to activate the system. System ready. I'm going in. Okay, that should do it. You two teaming up now? Cute. But it ain't gonna do no good. Uh, Sable? Use a little help here. The laser is down. Can you fix it? I am trying. Okay, I'll just do the hammerhead waltz for a bit. Time to get personal. Attack hammerhead to set it up for Sable's laser strike. <laughs> I just want to thank you for showing me what I've been doing wrong for years. If I want to rule this shit, I gotta modernize. It's all. Now that I'm involved. It's time for me to be the boss I always should have been! Just as soon as I kill you both! Okay, almost there. Sable, what's your status? Laser is back online. Almost in the place! What do you think you're doing? Now I can get in close. Keep trying, keep failing. I'm indestructible. Come Almost. On, oh, God. Hit me. This guy means business. You're going down. Ah. Oh, God. I'm trying to clear up all the regular thugs. Look at me! You can't kill me! 
Now's my chance. Give up now before I really hurt you. Oof, okay. Okay. Now hit him. Got a headache yet? Still no respect. What's he gonna take? Do you know what I respect? A guy who knows when to quit. Commencing bombing run. Damn, I missed. I'll make sure the next one hits. Oh my, he got armor? I dropped the bomb. You throw them at him. Throw several bombs at hammer to disable the shield. I grab yes, got it. Time to get personal. Do not let him hit you. Yeah, try it. Okay. I'm trying to avoid everything. Oh no. Oh. Dang, he got me off guard. <laughs> Oh no. I have an idea. Can't wait much longer. Hold him. He's gonna crash the ship into it? Oh snap. <laughs> Thank you. 
was fun. Hey, you have dinner plans? I know this great pizza place. I must return to Simcaria. <laughs> right. Okay. You have a war to fight. Do not like to fight. Do what I have to in order to help my people. I know. That's what heroes do. I am no hero. But you have taught me a few things. Oh, yeah? Like what? Like how to disarm my enemies with bad jokes? Mm, Actually, yeah. good jokes. But I understand humor can be subjective. Thank you, Spider-Man. For everything. I don't do hugs. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Of course. Uh, hey, can I get a lift back to the city? I, I'd swim, but it'd take forever to get the river smell out of my suit. Well, I guess this is the end of it, I think. <laughs> hey, in memory of Stanley, who inspired us all to be greater. Excelsior. Man, I missed the guy. I gotta say, a touching tribute to him, man. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> I gotta say uh, that was uh, I, I well, overall the whole DLC was pretty in, pretty intense. I, I gotta say not too bad of a follow up from the the main story. I think really if you were to combine all three episodes together, I'd say that was a good at least six hours of gameplay right there. At least six hours, six to seven. <laughs> I say about like half the length of the main game, more or less, or maybe I say maybe close to about maybe like two-thirds of the length of the main game <laughs> but uh, yeah not bad not bad at all well it seems like Sable has gotten into more friendlier terms with Spider-Man maybe uh, well at least Black Cat's still alive that's good Yuri is kind of become more rogue unfortunately I don't I don't bet her I wouldn't bet she would return it in the second game who knows <laughs> And it seems like the city is safe once again. So all in all, a good few days? Weeks? I don't know how long this was spanning, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Ready? Uh, I think the web shooters are a little tight. Get used to it. Just try to keep up. <laughs> okay. You know, I had a feeling they were going to show an epilogue with him and Miles. <laughs> Congratulations, you have finished sil the Silver Lining story. This concludes the City of the Never Sleep saga. Okay, Hammerhead's finished. But his men are still out there. A spider's work is never done. Alright. <laughs> Not too bad. At least I got, uh, what did I get? I got the, what in the heck is that? The cyborg Spider-Man suit? <laughs> ah, I guess if Spidey went, became a cyborg himself? I have no idea. <laughs> I got that one. Not really sure. Oh, so at least I have, well, I have the costumes all available at this point. Granted, I don't have them unlocked as of yet because that requires me to at this point really just get more crime tokens that's most of what I need to do which basically requires me to complete all the districts in each of the episodes if I 
was really willing to go through all of that, but, um, <laughs> if I was willing to go through all that, but, um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, the, <laughs> the entire city is saved. Got a little taste on the, and everything here. <laughs> so, yeah, so for the, for the most part, man, it's, it's not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> and again, at least I do like that epilogue of him with Miles trying to teach him how to web swing, which it kind of leads into the, uh, which kind of leads into the next game that's coming out after this, which is the um, Spider-Man Miles Morales, kind of intending to be a spin-off slash sequel to this game, more or less, like it taking place before, before Spider-Man Two comes out, which at this point it should be coming out sometime in 2023 at the time of this recording, <laughs> but. Uh, day in New York City. At long last, Hammerhead has been taken down for good. Cyborg parts and all. I will even give Spider-Man and Silver Sable an ounce of credit. They did, after all, land the final blow. However, while the mainstream media trips over itself to heap lavish praise on these vigilantes, allow me to give you a dose of facts. Hammerhead would have never gotten this far had it not been for Silver Sable leaving behind all her gear in the city. And don't get me started on Spider-Man stoking the fires of a gang war and forcing a decorated police captain into administrative leave. So sure, they cleaned up the mess, but they were also the ones that made it. <laughs> Even to the end, he still can't find really any positive thing to say about Spider-Man. <laughs> um, anyway... That, uh, yeah, that really takes care of everything at this point, so, uh, I guess when, as of right now, though, the Spider-Man Miles Morales game is, well, I'm waiting for the Steam version for that one, so it's gonna be a while, I think it's gonna be coming out at the end of 2022, I don't know exactly when, but, uh, and of course I'll be getting that one, <laughs> and, uh, I guess hopefully, I don't know if it'll be a, a real continuation, so to speak, from what this left off, or, I don't know. I don't know how it will play out, but can't wait for that one. Alright guys, this is Double Hunter XYZ, and until next time.